All right, hello everybody. Uh, time for a new build. We are going to, as you can see, build a Hoffman 5E1 or 5F1 Tweed Champ. Um, so this is, I think, a great beginner build for almost anybody um, because it has a fairly minimal set of components. It only has three tubes, the rectifier, the power tube, and the uh, preamp tube, and a fairly limited list of components. And I'm gonna go through some of this in a minute here, but I first wanna just jump down to the schematic and show you that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you have two input jacks right here and here. They join together into the first preamp tube's first triode, uh, go through a coupling capacitor into um, a volume that then leads into a second stage of amplification or preamplification that then leads into a another coupling capacitor straight into the power tube. Now, one of the things you'll see here that you haven't seen on my builds before is this is also what's called a single-ended output stage. There's just one tube. Now, single-ended doesn't mean there has to be one tube. There can be multiple tubes, but they would be in parallel and still going through uh, only one half of the transformer. You can see the other one, this A, will connect to the power point at A directly below it here, but it doesn't connect to the other end. In a push-pull, you will have a center tap that connects to A, and then each half of the, you know, two tubes or four tubes or six, whatever the number is, would be balanced on each half of that. And it's a much more efficient uh, form that's called, you know, that's that push-pull environment because you can have one kind of shut off while the other one is working and vice versa, and they bounce back and forth between each other. Um, so at any rate, um, as you can see, that's pretty much all there is to this. It's just a typical tube through a cu coupling capacitor to a volume pot through another tube and then to the final tube and out through the speaker. One other thing here is that we've got uh, what's called negative feedback that comes right here off of the speaker and connects down around through the 23K resistor here and then down back to the bottom of this uh, this preamp tube here. So that gives a little bit of negative feedback so that there's not too much distortion going on. Then down here we have the power input, the power transformer, the rectifier, which is a 5Y3, uh, 5 volt supply right here that connects to it, and then here we have our heaters. And the good thing about this one was it has an actual center tap, so I was able to, we're, we'll, we'll be able to ground that directly to ground without needing to do the kind of uh, false negative one where you used a couple of 100 ohm resistors. Uh, but here we also do not have a choke. Instead, we have a 10K 3-watt resistor, um, and then we also have you know a couple of uh, 16 and 2.8 capacitors for some of the filtering. So effectively, if you come back up here, you can first see this is the power section. There's the tube and the same hookup of the transformer. That's how you would wire these parts of it, and you can see this says 2-board or pin 3, and then we come up here to the 2-pin 8 of rectifier, um, and there's output transform pin 3. So effectively, that's all you need to build this. You put three big um, power capacitors on this board here. You've got a the cathode, the power tubes cathode pins one and eight come down to a cathode resistor and a cathode uh, capacitor and off to ground. And then otherwise, it's just a couple of resistors and capacitors for each stage of the of the preamp tube. So you have kind of three parts of this. You have this is the cathode grounding capacitor and resistor that go off to the ground. The inputs, the first, in, the main input comes across and under the board here that says to V1-2, which is right here, up at the top. And then the output of that comes down through the coupling capacitor to the volume, and then from the volume back to the second half, and then from the out of that to the power tube. Very simple, very straightforward. This is one of those kinds of builds that's also a lot easier to put together because there's less chance of problems. I highly recommend it for anyone that wants to first start an amp because it's, it's a lot less, um, work to understand how simple this circuit works. So uh, the other uh, big plus about this one is that since it was a pretty straightforward amp that I, I knew I wanted to have built and to play with and look at, but I didn't need to specifically build it myself, was that my wife has seen some of the stuff I'm doing. I was curious. I wanted to try building an amp. So I thought for you guys as well that are curious about how somebody that's new to doing this might deal with an amp, we're going to film her building, and I'm just going to be there to assist. So of course, there'll be some of the usual problems that I've had with my builds. You'll see that here. I've already filmed it all, but I'm, I'm hoping you'll enjoy the, the process as well. So uh, please let me know in the comment section what you think about the build idea here. If you have any suggestions, um, for, for those that might also be reading the comments, please uh, hit like if you like the video, subscribe, and watch the rest of this build progress. Thanks.